Welcome to Judge My Round with Tom Brennan. Brianna, I'm getting ready to watch the course you submitted and give you my first impressions as a judge. Looks like we're over at the Upperville Showgrounds, a place I'm familiar with. And I believe this is an amateur owner class. A little hard to see there, but first jump looked fine. Maybe a little out of shape. This is actually a deceptively tough ring to ride in sometimes. Nice and even ride there. I'd like to see the horse jump a little bit higher. We're getting a little low there. I think we rubbed that one. But if we didn't, I'm wondering if we're going to rub future jumps here on course. Horse kind of jumped at jump four there instead of around it. Unfolded her, her or his legs a little bit early for me. See if that continues to happen at the Oxers. Yep, and it did there out of the two stride as well. Good rider though, handling it, because the horse is a little bit keen. Looks like the horse is a little bit on the muscle. And she's still finding the jumps as, as good as anyone could. Good. I'd love to see the horse a little more relaxed. I think for an amateur owner class, which is typically pretty competitive, that round would go somewhere in the 75, 74 uh, range for me. But we'll take a closer look and see what you can do to improve that score. Brianna, now I've had a chance to read your email and learn a little bit about your mare, who is green and getting to learn her job. So we're going to break down this round with that in mind. My first impressions here when she comes in the ring and is headed to jump one is that the horse is just out of shape a bit. Her head's up, she's a little bit pulling in the bridle, and not showing a relaxed, forward, free hunter picture to start. So I'd love to see that improve over time. You find the first jump well, and I think after now seeing the course once, it was probably one of your better jumps. She stayed pretty even keeled afterwards. And you canter the end nicely. There are a few moments where she relaxes and then raises up for a second and then relaxes. But this is all looking pretty even. The singles are our best part. But I'm still looking for the horse to relax a little bit and poke her nose out a touch. Now jump two there, we're looking at from behind, but we're going to look at that again. And as you canter by, you're going to see that slightly over flexed frame where we'd love to see her relax out a bit. And then you get to the jump, you give a nice even ride to the jump, but she's too low here. If we take a closer look, we're going to see how low those back legs are to the jump as she comes down when she hits it. In general, she doesn't jump very high around the jump. We're going to talk about that again at the other oxers too. After the jump, another key place you could improve is here at the lead change. I think you get it cleanly, but we certainly wouldn't call it subtle or smooth. Let's look at it in real time one more time. If the lead change looks hard, it probably isn't going to be rewarded. See that big shift and step out left to get the lead change. It actually makes your horse a little quick. That speaks to way of going when I'm judging. Now you have a good ride in here. I think this is actually a bending line, so your track is appropriate. But your horse doesn't jump the best coming out of the line. She stands off and gets flat to jump at the oxer. We're going to get a better view of it out of the two stride. Jumps in fine and then gets low to the ground and really flattens out to jump out over this jump. Here you can see her shape is more horizontal than the arc that we're looking for, for a horse to jump around the jump. This is partly due to speed, and you're even trying to catch up to her because she's jumped out from underneath you. Remember, we want the jump 
to be in the center of the horse's arc. And here our horse almost doesn't even have an arc. But if she did, the jump would be way to the front of that arc instead of the highest part of the jump being in the center of it. Now another thing we're going to look at here is her front legs. She gets in a hurry to unfold and get to the ground, we call it. She hurries to the landing a little bit. So instead of holding her form and lasting for a little while at the top of the jump, those front legs stretch out in front of her and straighten to land a bit sooner than we would think is ideal. This, in my opinion, is one of the biggest mistakes she makes repeatedly on course here. Uh, jumping at the jump and then losing her form and sort of dropping out of the air in a hurry to get to the ground. Now here she started to build a little bit towards the end of the course and you do a really good job salvaging what you can. You're pretty accurate within her strong canter, but up this line we can actually see your horse open her mouth a little bit in resistance to the contact you have with the bit. This again speaks to rideability and to me the overall image that is portrayed while you show your horse which is while you do a good job, it doesn't look easy just yet. Now you pointed out that she's green and this is your first year showing in this division. So you've got a lot worked out already, but these polishing details will really help you improve your score. You definitely wanna spend some time working on jumping style and relaxing her in the ring and getting her rideable so that the image you present to the judge is that this is easy and pleasant and well within your reach. Brianna, your first question was, how much do I take off for rubs on course? I don't have a set numerical score that is deducted from a round because not all rubs are created equal. Sometimes horses hit the jumps hard, sometimes they don't. I will say you're competing in a division that is very competitive. The 3-3 amateur owners can be one of the hardest sections at any given horse show. So rubs are always going to be taken into account. And for sure, the horse that jumps the jumps cleanly is going to do better than the horse that rubs the jumps. But I really believe if you can get your horse away from that tendency to jump flat and quick, you're going to have fewer rubs on course. Your second question asked how to get your scores into the 80s at AA horse shows. I really appreciate that you want to do better and hopefully some of the things I've already pointed out will get you going in that direction. The biggest takeaway I want you to have is rideability. The horse has to look more responsive and relaxed at listening to your aids. One thing I didn't touch on that will help the overall impression of your performance is conditioning. Your horse has turned out very well. However, she isn't really developed through her haunches and her top line. And you could do some work there to present a rounder, softer image of a horse with proper muscling and a horse who is as developed in her hind end and back as she is through her shoulder. Finally, you asked what was the most distracting thing about your video. I'm assuming you mean about your ride um, in the video. And you're obviously doing a good job. I think your horse is green and learning her role in life, but you could try to tone down the efforts that your body makes at the jumps. Anything you can do to slow your own performance down will help slow her performance down. You ride well, but your body does tell a story sometimes. Try to use showmanship to hide that a little bit so we don't all know, standing on the sidelines, what you're struggling with. Brianna, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it useful. And I really appreciate the opportunity to judge your round.